Today was the last practice that we went really hard. He's trying to uh, make him go through all the different positions, all the different looks that he has in the fight, different th thoughts that we have on uh, going to a different level, fighting Cormier this time, and uh, make him work hard, make, make him struggle a little bit. And uh, he pushed through it, and I was very, very excited about today's practice. Feel good about today. Last hard practice here at this gym anyway. And uh, I feel real good. We so I sent myself off right with some good hard work. Come on, five, five, five. Come on, John. When I do the ground up on it, definitely try to just visualize. Uh, I just visualize, yeah, Dan Cormier's face, of course, but also just fatigue. You know, I think Vince Lombardi said um, fatigue will make the toughest man a coward, you know, and uh, I think fatigue is, is everyone's biggest enemy, especially in the cage. So I just think about my enemies, fatigue and that boy DC. This is what he can't stand. You win it. The champ is here. So this is all today's first down. Right now we are at one of my favorite restaurants in Albuquerque. We're just going over some social media stuff, looking at pictures from today's workout, figuring out which ones we want to post. I really enjoy it. Being hands on my social media, it's a direct communication between me and my fan base. That's what you're going to see July 29th. And the new, and still, and always, and always was. You get it. You get the point. With the first fight, you know, John Jones beat him. It was a close fight and everything else, you know, and, and DC knows that. So DC's just focusing on all the extra edges that, that he needs. Try to improve on all those all those things that, that you know, all those positions that he lost in and then the first fight. This fight is the most important fight in his life. He's just super focused. He's a beast. Physical condition, I never have seen a guy with this heart, with this carrier. And he just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pressure, pressure. You can make points, point but you know he's not gonna quit. He knows what's what's at stake, and that's you know being the greatest light heavyweight ever. John Jones talks about my body, but if you're gonna compare him to somebody with a body like him, he should look like Jake, you know, proportion, big chest, big legs. Functioning penis. Yeah, 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 you have a functioning penis too, you know? I could be fat, I could not have a six pack, but my dick works. My dick works. Let's go, right leg up. Coming back to your right leg. Switch, 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 drop. I've done everything in this sport, man. I've been Strike Force champ, UFC champ. I've won regional titles. I've won every single fight I've been in outside of one. So the only thing left for me is to beat that guy. I love this game. Like, I love this game. I love this sport more than anything. And when you have dreams of being the best, not only in your weight division, but the best in the world of all time, you know there's always that one guy that has that, that will loom over you or will always push you, and I know that Jones is that guy. This fight means everything. This is the biggest sporting event of my entire career. Olympics, wrestling, anything. This one outweighs them all. We've never really known John to, to suffer defeat. The fact that his identity has been so closely tied to being UFC champion, it's been so long now since he's been the champion. In the promo he goes, this fight I have to win because I want my life back. That's strong words, but those strong words also come with a ton of pressure because your life should not be tied to the belt, but his is because he, he experienced it so young. In terms of him, personally, I have no responsibility over how bad or how great his life goes. I don't care anymore. I really don't care what becomes of John Jones. Look at you looking all Poindexter. Where? Oh. Red room. Red room. You look skinny, man. Yeah, I know. I'm good. Skinny, huh? How's good it going? Good to go? see you, man. Doing good. Great. 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 Not to sit out. Anything at all? You might not want to let the little guy listen to all this stuff. Uh, earmuffs. <laughs> I know that I've defeated him before. I know that uh, he has the belt, but I know that I'm the champion. You know, I didn't have to beat him to become champion because he beat himself. That shit doesn't matter. And Daniel's heart, he knows he hasn't beaten me. If he really can go to sleep at night feeling like a champion, then, you know. I will tell you right now, every night, 
I do go to bed feeling like a champion. I don't care about your punishments. All I care about is you showing up on July 29th and you and I getting a fight again. That's all I've cared about for two and a half years. Don't do shit that compromises that, and I have no issue with him. Fuck DC. <laughs> I, have no I have no desire to be friends with him. Next week we'll fight, but every time going forward we see each other, there's still gonna be issues because either I'm gonna smack him upside his head or something's gonna happen because he's a punk. You heard him. Fuck DC. He's got a new, he got a new, he, like he learned new language now or something. He can cuss in public. Good for you, John. God damn it, I hate to start my day off like that. He was just talking the most shit. Bro, cause he's scared to death. He's about to get fucked up in seven days. Uh, hey, everything, up. everything he has is about to be gone in seven days, bro. Uh -huh. Everything. And he knows it and he's freaking out yeah. inside. I'm he's sure he's saying like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm out of here. I'm about to go get my blue belt. All right, hey, handle it later. All right, guys. Today's a big day. I get promoted from being a white belt to a blue belt. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. I put a lot of work in. I'm a little nervous, you know, I'm excited. A lot of emotions. This is a big day. I get to join the club with my I'll sisters here. There's a hamburger sticker on there. You know you're filming us when we're like trying to eat. Oh, couldn't wait. Uh, <laughs> all these mascaras that. running. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud and, all, and very humble to call here Don Jones to step in the club. <laughs> he made it. Very well deserved, you know, very dedicated fighter. Put the time in here. You could tie you all the different color, but this one is gonna feel good to you, sir. There you go! Let's go! Let's go! This week, the blue belt, and next week, the gold belt. Mark my words.